What's good, everybody? It's Casual Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with our settlement survival. And for now, we are just working on increasing our trade. We're trying to get our hardwood pastures to increase our animal output and how many animals we can put within a pasture. And then we're also working on getting the second tier attraction. So looking at construction materials, um, I feel like we're either gonna go for the square pagoda or the domed cathedral. Just because those items we have a pretty good abundance of. I believe rope we were kind of struggling with for a little bit. Um, where is that at? Textiles? Rope's at 425, so it seems to be doing a little better. Uh, we have plenty of fishing nets, finally, within our um, fishing port. And we need about 16 people. We're sending 10 on these caravans, but we're just trying to get rid of some of our fish, since we have a bunch of it. And we were able to take out the bandit camp that was up here. Now over here we are trying to get, I believe it was duck. No, we don't have duck? I thought we did. Isn't that one of the animals that we bought? Was duck? I know I'm not making that up. It has been a few days since recording because of our incident with Wukong. That was extremely frustrating as we were about to end our recording power cut off meaning our entire safe or um our recording got corrupted couldn't recover it and there's only one save per character you have in Wukong so we had to restart the game grind all the way up until the point we were at just so we could record some of the content um that was not going to be seen if we didn't do it so it has been a few days since I've recorded some settlement because I've been trying to catch up on that. But I swear we bought duck from our trader. I thought we got horses, pigs, and duck. I'm not exactly sure what happened to our ducks. I, I, I don't know what happened there. Um... Let's go ahead and just pause these for now. And we need some corrals going. Um, these are going to be 8 by 10s Put one corral here. I don't know if uh, animal plagues affect our corrals or not. But our population's pretty consistent at 1100, which I'm happy about. We want to make sure that we're taking advantage of all of our buildings we're getting from Reputation. Um, so we still need to build a lot of Vernia stuff. We got the mosque. We're making tapestries. We're using the dates. Um, we still need to get some Anaset. We got gems going. We need to do all of the dyeing and custom tailor. Grand Bazaar we have for trade. And then we need the blueprint building. Um, but that thing's pretty huge, and it helps us with, um, our research institute and academies. So I would like to put it next to all of these buildings, so I think I'm going to end up moving this stuff. Uh, just not exactly sure where at the moment. We might have to do some reorganizing, and, uh... Figure out some efficiency here. I think we have too many buildings. And it might be a point where our population's too high. And we're taking up too much of the map. Um, so those are some things that we have to think about. Uh, we could go ahead and get some more dates going. Can't dates be used to make sugar? Yes, they can. Dates can be used to make sugar. Um, but they should also count as a simple food. 
They do. And then we can also make Anisette. I believe that's at the coffee shop. No, it's not. Is that at the winery? Dates and water to make Anisette. The Anisettes are going to be a better drink. Uh, so we have some whiskey going somewhere. Put it down here. But we need to watch our malt production. Make sure we're not having any issues with our malt. Since we have quite a few places using our malt now. Um, we have beer production going. We have whiskey production going. Flour seems to have balanced out nicely. Uh, merchant ships. Let's just go ahead and reappoint you. Yeah, we don't really need any of that stuff. We already have tobacco seeds. And maximum thirst is... It's okay. We currently have 11 formations, but no bandit camps around. Uh, what other buildings can we look at? I would like to get that blueprint down. I just... I'm really not sure where I'm going to place that at the moment. It's such a big area. And it takes a ton to make. Nearly 10,000 books, a thousand tapestries, a thousand luxury furniture, and a thousand building kits. We could put it here, that'd be nice, just next to our research institutes, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Just don't have a lot of room left, and I know this isn't our only large building. So we might have to figure that out. Maybe we'll have to fill in some of the water. It is a school. Uh, maybe we could place it in here in between the mountains, but we'll have to move these pastures. feel like we kind of want it close to housing. I mean, maybe we could put it over here and just connect a bridge. The only problem is if we put research institutes over in this area, it's going to be so far from our book and paper production. Plus, we have to leave room for more of our tourism buildings. So a lot to think about there. About what we want to do. Um, what else do we have from factions? Just the dyeing mill. And process co cotton cloth and water into dyeing cloth. And directly process linen into clothes. Also process dyeing cloth into gowns. So custom tailor. Check this building out. Uh, we also have the outdoor kitchen. Probably be better just to look this stuff up. Like in the search bar. I don't know why I try to find it through all of the buildings every time. Uh, let's put you here. You fit nicely right there. And we'll see what that building's all about. We have 91 elders. 156 children. That's a good amount of children. And we're getting more and more people to graduate. I don't think we want to build up any more troops at the moment, which means we can probably afford to send out another caravan. Um, trade goods. The gems sell for quite a bit. Uh, we can sell all of our tobacco, since this is strictly a tradable good. At least for now. Seeds and suitable for trade. I don't think there's any items we can craft with that. Same thing with gems. It's really just something that we can trade at the moment. Uh, let's sell 150 silver cutlery. 150 luxury furniture. Clothing, we can sell 500 rough clothes. Let's sell 400 down jackets gonna be up to 37k uh 250 250 
Sell 500 backpacks. Ooh, too heavy. Uh, 450. And then what is something that we need to buy? You finished up quickly. Okay, flax for rough clothes. Ooh, dyeing cloth. So that replaces like linen. Okay. Well, I don't think this is something that we need right now. Uh, we have plenty of clothes being made in our clothing factory, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get luxury coats up to 750. What is something that we need to buy? Probably need some more leather. All of this stuff is looking okay. Good here. Good on all that. Not necessarily anything we want to build at the moment. Uh, raw materials. Where is leather at? Go ahead and buy 1500 leather. Uh, we'll send... Let's send 16 people. Make sure we're buying for insurance. And we're still going to make about 30k silver from that caravan. Which is a good amount, and that should get us quite a bit of reputation. I'm hoping we'll hit level 3. Uh, we put the barber shop down. That's using the same thing as a, cl a hospital. Plus 35%. Ooh. That actually gives 10% more health than the hospitals do but i'm i wonder if it's just a health bonus or if people can actually go in here and get cured from diseases or injuries i mean if it consumes items and has bandages in its inventory this has treatment for plague down here and he counts as a doctor so i'm assuming it's the same as a clinic or a hospital I doubt they stack, though. Yeah, you're getting the bonus from the barbershop. Okay. Health is uh, at 118%. Go ahead and speed things up for a bit. Is there anything else that we want to check out at the moment? Uh, quick hunting improves the efficiency. Getting dates going. Probably want to boost our date production, and that way we can start making Anaset. The citizens who moved into the garden villa were very satisfied with the spacious and comfortable new house, and together they made delicious food and invited their neighbors and friends to celebrate. Very cool. Got some free fruit cakes. Um, we need a grove. Eight by ten. Then we're gonna have to get another winery so we can make more anisette. Can't make black tea or cocoa yet. We don't have the seeds for it. How are we doing on spots in the cemetery? We have plenty. All of the needs should be met here. Shouldn't be a problem. But we need to save up 6k before we can get our next attraction. Then we have to start thinking about getting all the level 2 commercial stuff. Then we should be getting some premium tourists.
Hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think we really need to be making rough clothes anymore. And I'm trying to think of where we can free up space. Of buildings that we don't necessarily need. So if we go ahead and take out this building here. We'll stop making rough clothes. That'll free up some workers. Two of our caravans are back. Uh, what else do we need to sell? We have a lot of herbs. A lot of water. Bunch of sugar. Let's sell 3,000 wool. And 552 beeswax because we have plenty of that. I don't think we're going to buy anything at the moment. And we'll just send 10 people. And then for our second caravan, go ahead and sell more tobacco. And probably end up selling more of this fish. Uh, we'll do 2,900. We'll just send seven people on that one. Make some more money. Free up some more of our warehouse. Our inventories. Uh, you're done with that. You can make more luxury bedding then. We're trying to make some jam. You're using chestnuts at the moment. Can we make anything else in here? Honestly, we could make all of this stuff if we wanted to. Could start going for meat cans. Veggie cans, salted fish cans. Assuming that uses glass bottles and salt. Okay. Shopping requests will be unlocked. What in the heck does that mean? Did we go down in a satisfaction point? Oh, we have to re unlock this stuff? Well, that's lame. Okay. I mean, that shouldn't take long to do, anyways. Alright, we got that broken down. What else do we not really need at the moment? Put another person in here. Can we fit these over in this area? No. Um. We can't destroy the mines. I'm a little tempted to fill in this area. Blueprints. Could put it over here. Again, that's just so far from all of our paper production. Then we have to think about where we're going to put our next attraction. Maybe we just stick it over here for now. We'll put it close to all of our attractions. And my hope is... That if we put it close enough to where the bandit camp would spawn, it won't spawn here anymore. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop that down. And I think with our future caravans, we're going to buy some of this stuff. So we can speed up this process because books is going, books are going to take forever to try and get. 
So we might end up dropping quite a bit of silver to get some of this stuff. I'm still curious what happened to our ducks. I wonder why we lost those. Did we just not build the pasture soon enough? I don't know what happened there. Our storage center inventory is getting pretty full. A lot of these places are filling up. Uh, we might as well pop the upgrade on you. Give you some more inventory. We have this big tree right here. But I'd like to wait until our bonus is over. So we can get another bonus from that. What other buildings do we have to check out? Uh, the dying mill. Dying mill, dying mill. All right, let's check this out. Six by six building. Not really anywhere nice to put you. Could put you here for now. Not exactly sure what items those are gonna take. One of our caravans just came back. Go ahead and slow down time while we figure this out. Um, any good like money makers right now? Uh, we could probably sell a thousand herbs. We can sell a thousand feathers. Be nice to clear up some of this stone, but it weighs so much. Uh, let's sell 200 bedding sets. Sell 150 luxury bedding. We'll go ahead and sell 500 rough clothes. Pretty soon we'll be uh, selling more down jackets and some luxury coats though. Trade goods. Uh, how much do these gems weigh? Doesn't seem like that much. And we have our puppies and more scarecrows. Uh, let's sell 75 cutlery. That's going to bring us up to 50k. So if we go to books... Oh, we need all of these. If we want to buy, let's just say 3,000 for now. 138,000 silver. Okay, what else can we sell? Could sell some tools. Sell 450? Jeez. We're, we're almost negative 40k with this caravan. Uh, this caravan's pretty important though. So I'm gonna go for 20 people. Definitely pay for insurance. Go ahead and form that. Uh, we'll, we'll hit level 3 no problem after this caravan. That's crazy money. How are we doing with this? We have most of the building kits already. We're actually looking really good. We just need to get some books in. 10,000 books is crazy. Houston came to say hi. Say hello, Houston. Say hello. Just don't unplug my mic, please. Alrighty, seeing what this dying mill is all about. Uh, we could probably go ahead and start destroying some of these because we're going to get our research academies in this area. What else do we have? 
That's gonna be basically everything. Um, from here. Exquisite swords can be made in the smithy. And that's really just to sell. Uh, we have sugar already. We're trying to see what the anisette's all about. You need cotton cloth and water to make dye. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, just because we're using our cotton cloth here. Immigrants from Taurus. Free people. No thanks. It probably would be cheaper. Eight dye cloth, but it takes ten to make five. You take, take 10 to make 5, and you require 8, that's actually going to cost more cotton cloth, I believe, to make a luxury, oh, but that's for luxury coats, so that like replaces our silk, we're not having any problems with silk right now, custom gowns, this stuff's pretty nice though, could make gowns 750 5 and 30 five more happiness 250 more durability I'm just worried about our cotton cloth we already don't have a lot and we're going through our cotton pretty quickly uh, so I think I'm going to hold off on the that for now maybe once we start making the gowns we'll get into the cloth we'll have to see we'll have to see how we're feeling about that um but that's going to be everything for Rania's tree water nursery we don't have the obsidian mine or the outdoor kitchen yet let's see what the outdoor kitchen's all about Uh, you fit nicely right here. That's perfect. You need planks. Why are we so low on planks? Probably also need to chop down some trees. Uh, we're getting kind of low on timber here. With all these big chunks we can go ahead and take out. Uh, we got plenty of trees down here to take down. Plenty of trees down here. Plenty right there. New reputation. Now, is this an upgrade that we can do? No. So we have to do separate pastures. We're gonna have to tear these down and then go with the hardwood. Uh, we got the ancient smeltery. Hardwood and rope. It means we're gonna need a hardwood farm. Small fishing port. Consume fish nets to produce oyster or fish. Oysters are new. Uh, let's go ahead. We can put any animals in the corral. Interesting. We can get three at a time. I feel like that's a really low amount. Do corrals lose animals from animal plagues? Like, do we need to build two things for horses? feel like that would be the case. Okay, we're making decent progress on our new blueprint building. Go ahead and see what this is all about. You can make tacos from corn. Spicy cocoa. Corn and sugar for popcorn. 
This is a simple food, simple food, and a fancy food. How are we doing on corn? We have quite a bit, and we're not making, uh, we're not using our sugar at all. Uh, but maybe we just stick for tacos for now. We'll max you out at 1500. Get a second worker in there. Interesting that we just need corn to make tacos. Kind of funny. Um, sell more fish. We'll just keep it at seven people. Yeah, you're already halfway to reputation four. Do we want to get the hardwood farm down? Is that worth it? And if so, where do we want to put you? Hmm. I feel like over here would make the most sense. Let's pop this down for a little bit. I don't know if this is going to be something that we continue to hold on to or keep. But just so we check it out, let's get another person making planks since we seem to be using a lot of those. Population's at 1150. Oh, it's rising a little more than I'd like it to. Is there anything else that's, uh... And make us some decent money. We could sell 500 down jackets. It's gonna be 10k right there. I guess 500 soybeans. That's really not gonna make much of a difference. Don't really want to get out of rid of my sugar at least not a lot of it because i'm sure we'll be using that very soon another 500 beeswax i suppose um 100 stone works for me more books let's buy a thousand this time still forty six thousand. that seems so crazy to me Um, I think we can afford 20 people. Go ahead and do that. Still at 131,000 silver though. So we're still looking pretty good. Feel like happiness and health is doing really well. Haven't gotten any pork or horse meat yet. How are dates doing? Haven't had a harvest from those trees. Okay, we got entertainment back unlocked, which is great. Do you help with attractiveness? It doesn't say that you do. No, maybe not. You're waiting on more planks. You're waiting on more of everything. We only have one person making building kits right now. Uh, but that's fine. We have to wait for everything else anyway, so there's not really any rush there. We have all of these buildings, except for the candy workshop. We don't have a boarding school or academy, but honestly, once we get that big building in, I don't know if we'll need it. Don't have the water trading post or any other of our 
trading good buildings. Uh, we have all of our mines. We still need to get quality military supplies. All of this shit um, should be covered. We do need to still build two of our elite camps. Our shield and archers, right? No, we just built elite shield. So all we need left is our archers. Everything here looks good. Don't really need a forest farm at the moment. Got quite a bit in processing to go through. Everything here looks good. Cool, cool. So we're getting pretty close to checking out a majority of our buildings. Um, still have an ancient smeltery. Small fishing port. Since autumn began, never before seen mushrooms have been found by gatherers to be sprouting in the wild. It does not look like a poisonous species, but whether or not it is edible is anyone's guess. Yeah, we'll try it. It tastes really bad, but can still be used as food. Sure. 600 free mushrooms for us. Now this says 123 out of 0. I'm assuming that there's no further bonuses from this. Hardwood furniture. Oh, it's luxury furniture too. We have the bank and the great castle. Okay. Um, we have three cows here, yeah? So I think what we're going to do... We're going to go ahead and destroy this one. Caravan came back. That was just the fish one, yeah? Nothing major. We have a merchant ship. Slow things down for a minute. Simple dishes. The hunger of simple food plus 5%. Uh, we could probably do with some cotton cloth here, actually. We have plenty of water. Go ahead and sell that. Um, let's say we want a thousand cotton cloth. It's gonna be 6k. Uh, we'll sell the 500 stone. Sell the 500 beeswax, 500 feathers. Fifteen hundred. That was perfect. Good math there, Cage. Good math. All right, we'll take the thousand cotton cloth, and then I think that's gonna be it here. Go ahead and send you away. And then let's get a hardwood pasture down. You are going to need hardwood and rope. How are we doing on rope? It's getting back up there. This is finally finishing up. Uh, we can probably slow down on this. Uh, we'll keep two just because um, brick and glass we are still getting gold sand we're almost done with building kits we're making progress in all the other areas Uh, let's sell some more soybeans here. 
nothing special. Go ahead and send that out with uh, seven people. We have one corn crop. How are we doing on tacos? 234. Okay. We're running low on chestnut because we are using that for... Uh, what was that being used for? The jam. We're not stocking up on any jam, though. You're waiting on hardwood. This building's nearly done. What's population at? 1150. Doesn't seem like it's growing too much from that point. Yeah, books are gonna be our biggest issue. We got 3,000 coming in. I don't know if all 3,000 will go towards this. Um, but we have no books in our research academies. We're using it all for construction. We have plenty of paper though. So we'll just switch these over to paper while the books get made and put into the building. I'm not sure why you make us choose hardwood. Is there anything else that we can make here? You have no resource bonus. I'm assuming you use... Yes, you use fertilizer. Okay. Let's get that going. And then hardwood... Used in building construction and... Tools in the smithy. But they're not interchangeable. By construction, it means... Buildings that specifically ask for hardwood, I take it. So normally, we can hold 12 cows within a pasture. With these hardwoods, we should be able to hold 24. Um, so we might end up getting rid of these two pastures. I think we'll stick with two of each animal if we can. That'll free up some space up here. And then, honestly, it's less we have to worry about over here. So we could even get rid of these two if we wanted. Okay. We got some reorganizing ha happening. More immigrants and tourists. How are we doing with our access points? 2200. So we're about halfway there. About a third. These caravans are certainly on long journeys. Hopefully none of them run into any problems. That would not be good. Uh, we might as well check out this ancient smeltery. Let's see what this building's capable of. I really don't like how none of this lines up. The area needs some moving around. We'll just set you right here for now though. And then we also have the small fishing port, but that uses more fish nets. That makes me nervous.
Where do we want to squeeze you in at? Here for oysters. Um, which is food production. I mean, I guess right here. For now. We have plenty of other food production here. Alrighty, we unlock the bank and hardwood furniture at the luxury furniture factory. So now you guys can use lack of raw materials. Oh, because you need planks, but now you can use hardwood. That's perfect. What are we using all these planks for? We have so many buildings, it's hard to keep track anymore. Medicine's looking good. Costumes are not doing the hottest. How are we on linen? Eh. Not the greatest on that either. I feel like this is going to give us so much hardwood. Might as well increase your work efficiency. Finally starting to get some pork. Waiting on our horses to grow up. Interval between procreation. I mean, we don't need any of that stuff, so we might as well reappoint you. Traveling merchant. I guess. 128 silver is not much to us, but we'll take it. Um, Let's go for some more fish just for now. And then for this caravan, probably going to buy some books with this one. Let's go 1,500 on the sugar. Go 1,500 on the wool. Uh, we can sell a bunch of this clay. It's going to weigh a lot though. 250 and then books pricing is going up another thousand that's nearly 50k but we need the books we need the books uh we'll send 20 people out pay for the insurance how are we looking here okay we're about quarter of the way with our books Getting close with the Persian Tapestry. And about two-thirds of the way with our luxury furniture. Honestly, that's probably where a lot of our planks are going. Looking pretty good here. In our simple foods. We almost have 25k built up. Um, we have the fall small fishing port. Isn't this oysters? What are oysters? Oysters are another simple food. Yeah, two people in there is fine. We don't use oysters to make anything, do we? At least not at the moment. Shouldn't be the case. Okay. Um, how are we doing on malt? Hey, we're doing pretty well. Let's get another worker in here. Get some more whiskey being made. Still haven't stocked up on any dates. 
Haven't had a harvest from our second uh, grove yet. Ripeness is at 40%, so we're still waiting on that. You're at 95 and 20%. You're certainly getting up there in weight. All of you guys are filled up with water. Um, I feel like puppies should go... Ooh, luxury apartments don't reduce stress. Okay, let's get some puppies in here. That change anything? Do they reduce stress? Doesn't say it does. Okay. Uh, the ones with the bigger families should also probably get the reduced stress. The one with upgrades already. Ah, oh, look, it puts the puppy on top of the building. That's cool. I like that. Now uh, we have seven more puppies. You guys have upgrades as well. That's going to be all of our luxury furniture upgrades, though. I don't want to get a cat. I can see the puppy and the cat. I wonder what the other upgrades look like. I mean, there's not really a point in getting fancy textiles because we have the boiler room right here. Alright, let's speed things back up. And then I also kind of want to look at the bank. Where is the bank? 12 by 6 building. I don't think we need to put you necessarily by any production or anything. Um, so the bank can kind of go off to the side somewhere. Where are you? You're a boiler room? Yes. Where do we want to squeeze this bank at? I feel like a bank by the military? Makes sense. Boom. Let's do it there. More planks, glass, and building kits. Okay. What else do we have? Hardwood furniture. Uh, we need to check out the smeltery that we put down. Oh, you just make steel. Okay, it's a smeltery, not a smithy. Five and four. Oh, you use timber instead of refined fuel. Okay. Don't really think we need you making steel for us right now. Um, but that's cool. What other buildings do we have? I think that's gonna be everything we have unlocked so far. Still need Chichen Itza. And we need the obsidian mine. Where do we see Chichen Itza? Oh, oh god. Is this another blueprint building? No. The service. But people need to be sacrificed for this building. Kind of the thing I'm not a fan of. Of 
Where are we going to make our citizens go to be sacrificed? The corner of the world? I don't know where to put this building. It doesn't say it hurts or helps attraction at all. Um... This is getting pretty close. Book still got some time to go though. Uh, do we need these houses over here? They actually fit right in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and tear down this cemetery. We'll just put it up here for now. I don't think this is going to be a permanent spot for it. Just kind of somewhere to place it for the moment. Uh, our colony is getting disorganized again and it's bothering me. Still waiting for this stuff. We have another merchant ship coming soon. What are you guys missing? Foods? How on earth is that happening? There's plenty of stuff here. Why are you not... Why are you not keeping up with the inventory? You're gonna lower our satisfaction. We're about halfway to the next stage, though. Alright, that's been destroyed. Let's get Chichen Itza in. You do fit pretty nicely right there. Caravans. Um, 2,700. 700. And 150. Uh, we'll just stick to seven people. Got a lot of free laborers right now, though. Kind of tempted to get some more troops going. What are you out of? Uh, you're out of the planks. Um... Timber is hurting. So let's get all of these trees chopped down. That should give us plenty of timber. And then... Increase your efficiency and let's get another worker in here. And then I guess you can use less timber. It's only gonna decrease it by one. Oh yeah, timber's going up nicely. Look at all our people. Kinda crazy. That is a lot of people. Hey, you're bringing a thousand more books. Five people buried. So we don't need cemeteries anymore, yeah? This has two people in it. We'll keep track of that. My biggest thing is like, why aren't people getting cremated all the time? They're just dying too fast? Is that the issue? Our cremation operator can't keep up with all the people dying? Uh, refuse you. How are we doing on Jade and stuff? Where's gold sand? Or? Um... 3,000 silver coins for 200 special medicine. We'll do that. And let's get some gold avenue. Make things a little different. This is going to be all of our gold. 
Uh, we'll do 81. We'll make it look nice and pretty. Gold and... Pure white, I guess? We'll do alternations. Why do I feel like you use so much more gold sand than I asked you to? Typical game. Typical. Pretty sure I just had you use 81. And somehow you managed to use... Oh, you guys just grabbed extra? Is that what happened? Okay. We have too many people working on the project, I guess. Finally getting some hardwood. Dude, you have 980 and you're not even halfway done. That's pretty bizarre. You're gonna fill up our warehouses quick. Very quick. Um... Could make the sturdy hardwood tools now. But they're just not good. I mean, you're the same as our iron tools. But iron tools we can use for upgrades. What do you sell for, out of curiosity? I don't think we can see because we don't have any. No. You're listed at 6.08. But you say 8. Hardwood tools are listed at 11, so they do sell for better. Alright, our hardwood pasture is... Down? Why do you automatically put horses in here? I want cows. Can horses go in regular pastures? No. It's just hardwood. Interesting. I want you to be cows. Okay. Why are you not changing? Same function as eco pasture, but doubles the max capacity for raising animals. Transfer. Transfer to the corral. Put in cows. Thank you. Perfect. Now I'm going to transfer all 12 of you to the hardwood pasture and then destroy you. Okay. We'll get three people working in here. We'll get baskets as well. Um, now we need to do the same for the geese right here. You can hold up to 24. The so two pastures of each animal should be plenty. Should be. I think I'm gonna let our resources stock up before we do any like big caravans again. So let's just keep selling our fish and soybeans. Just keep cleaning out our inventory. Uh, we don't want any tourists. We have plenty of people. I mean, I guess we might as well get some troops going. Get some elite shields. Then we need another hardwood pasture. Right in here. Then this needs to be geese. Oh, alrighty. Well. I say we made some pretty good progress today. We're working on our blueprint building. We got Chichen Itza in. Um, have we seen anything about being sacrificed? 
Guide of old age. Guide of old age. Guide of old age. When do people start getting sacrificed? That's what I want to know. Because that is what happens, right? Citizens can be buried in Chichen Itza after death without limits. Didn't it say that they were sacrificed? Am I making that up? Oh, that's for the Great Temple. So it provides faith and happiness for a large number of citizens, but some of the citizens will be sacrificed each month. Okay. So, we should be safe to get rid of this, yeah? I mean, we'll hold on to it for a little bit. We've made pretty decent progress on here. We've checked out some more buildings through our faction reputation. Uh, Rania is maxed out. Lorenzo is very close to being maxed out. And then we'll get maximum warmth increased by 100%, which seems pretty crazy to me. And then we'll get the Great Castle. Which, honestly, the Great Castle, if we just pop that, like, right in the middle here, we could clean up... That'll help us clean up a lot of our housing. Um, so that'll be nice. Maybe we'll just put the great castle in the center. But we don't really have to make room for that building, which is great. Um, I think everything else we've checked out. We do need to look into the bank. We put you down here. Can deposit money in the bank and get it back with entrance after a certain period of time. Money deposited in the bank cannot be used. Okay, but so how much do we want to deposit and for how long? Let's do five years. Withdraw in advance. So if we do... I want to do a decent amount. I feel like 10 years is a really long time. Five years isn't so bad. Let's do 25,000. Boom. Okay, so we'll pay attention to our bank over time. And then all of this is handled. We got all of this going. And the last thing we need from Carlos is the obsidian mine going. Felt like there was one more thing I wanted to check. Luxury furniture. Let's get you using hardwood. Um, cause we should be having, yeah. We'll have no problem getting hardwood. And I don't think this is seasonal either. Cause they started sowing in January. But ripeness is at 9%. So is this like a continuous thing? We'll have to pay attention to how sowing and harvesting works of that and like the time of the year. But I think, I don't think it needs to be a certain season for this to grow or for them to sow. Okay, as always, I appreciate y'all for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out y'all.